17 barrels of fuel in reserve and uh, 7 crate or 9 crates of supplies in reserve. And we also have this terror meter. Uh, if you're inside some of the particularly dark portions of the map, that terror will gradually fill up and, well, will cause bad things to happen. And it looks like an event just uh, fired off. So again, we have quite a few choices to um, enact for the purposes of just furthering these adventures, really, and just seeing what happens. So. A Zaylor has grown fretful and disobedient, reluctant to go on the deck, even in port. He says that there's a white uh, Z-Bat watching him up there. And with that said, uh, he seems to think that there is a curse on him, paraphrase paraphrasing. And yeah, that is pretty much that. So we have a few different options here. We can we can do salt with a question mark or with a period, and it looks like we can perform, or rather, we can just get this guy and throw him up there. Or we, alternatively, we can throw him in the sick bay. Uh, we can feed the Z-Bat, uh, or alternatively, we can shoot the thing as well. And then shooting it will give us a uh, looks like a stat check. Although we have such a high iron quality, it will gives us 100% uh, chance of success. You know what? Evidently, it looks like these white sea bat things are sacred to, to salt, apparently. And perhaps if we feed it, we'll, get it, we'll gain its, uh, its favor. So I think we'll try to feed it and see really just what happens and uh, really just go from there. So, let's see. Uh, the white sea bat takes some crackers from our fingers, boldly as a parrot. It dips its head to us and trips something that you might mistake for a speed speech and then it flies off the next day our crewman is gone along with one of the ship's boats and no one saw him depart or wonders why so unfortunately it looks like we've lost one crewman although we've gained some experience and we also have salt's attention we also have a stone uh, storm or salt uh, one of the things about the game is that it doesn't work in a conventional idea in that there are goods uh, as goods on on your ship one of the big things about this game is that uh, simply there's these curiosities which are things that may that say might not uh, be th tangible good things like uh, say commodities or something there'll be things like uh, intelligence reports or stories or in general just things uh, that that are out there and uh, and again, I mean, that plays heavily inside the game's exploration-centered role there. So, uh, speaking of exploration, we've discovered a new location here titled Hunter's Keep, and this is uh, actually a dockable area, evident by the little circle there, school dock, and this will be one of the first uh, stories that I expect most people to really embark upon. So, Hunter's Keep, a quiet isle with a grand house on it. We can dock here and we can explore the city or, you know, the house here and really learn a little bit about the Denzins here and see what they do. So let's go ashore and let's see what options present uh, are presented to us here. So, it looks like we start, uh, let's see. Yeah, really, we just arrive on the port here. There's a single grand manor-esque type of thing present on the, the, on the island overlook and everything. I mean, they have the option of either presenting ourselves at the house's door. We can take a little walk through the gardens. Or alternatively, we can spy on the house or recon the island to see uh, what really lurks about. And it looks like we have a pretty good chance of spying on the house. So I think we'll go along with that and we'll fire that off. So, let's see what happens. As we peer through a half open French window into the grand parlor, grand insides, if reduced in style by dust and neglect, a dark haired, pale skinned young woman bends earnestly over a piano keyboard. Another one is also present as well, and it looks like there are, uh, well, three sisters present inside this particular house. And again, I'm just gonna paraphrase here. I don't think, um, people can read slower than I than I'd, uh, narrate here so it looks like we've met some of the people living here unfortunately it looks like we failed this uh, challenge here so we actually failed to spy upon the house by itself 
Right, so let's see what happens next. We can evidently have the options of having lunch with one of the three sisters uh, for whatever purpose. And it looks like uh, we can go with the eldest, the middle sister, or the uh, the soft-voiced one, so I suppose the youngest there. And I think we'll just go with the first min uh, option here and uh, converse with the first person here. And it looks like at the end of the day, we, uh, well, it looks like this person told us quite a story. So we, uh, well, we lost some hunger because, of course, it was uh, lunch. We gained some supplies as well. So it looks like we, yeah, we wrapped some of the, some of the food up to take with us. And we also gained some terror and a new tale of terror as well. And again, like I said, a lot of the things about the game here and the story effectively ends like that. Uh, I've already fired it off, so I know for a fact that there's really not much to do here till later on. Uh, but in general, I mean, like I said, a lot about the game really functions off of this idea that uh, there are, of course, your tangible goods, but there are also these rather, say, unique things like these tales of terror, um, different sort of. Uh, bits of, I suppose, tales of, uh, of ideas, if you will, of some, some, some other things here and there that might not necessarily be physical objects, but are definitely, of course, these intriguing, uh, like it says, curiosities for us to discover and trade with. So, moving forwards, let's continue, and uh, maybe let's see what is uh, further present inside this uh, undersea. Speaking of which, I see a another usable object right over there so uh, I think we'll go towards it there right so it looks like we're actually being attacked by a bat swarm and then this is a pretty easy uh, foe so I'm just gonna fire off a few things here and hopefully take it out we've already seen the combat system um, as it is already this is uh, this is one of the particularly easy foes and how I like to do it is that I just like to fire off three fair flares shoot it once and uh, chances are is that it will die immediately there we go the nice thing about it is that afterwards looking again all of the different uh, foes you fight will have different options to uh, sort of use the corpses for the aftermath of the uh, the foe and we can gather the corpses or alternatively we can dispose of them this one is more straightforward we can either dispose of them for reduction in terror because as you might remember terror causes uh, the crewmen to of course panic it builds up when we're not in a fairly nicely lit up portion of the subterranean sea here or alternatively uh, we can gather up these corpses and this will actually give us some supplies that we can use as uh, edible things to feed our people here and there so all I really want to do is I want to see what is up here inside this region I see a ship that we can dock with so this might be say another story and I also saw like some sort of lighthouse beam and evidently this is a light ship so this is uh, perhaps one of the this is actually also perhaps one of the one of the lighthouses as well um, let's see Looks like uh, we can speak with the crew. Unfortunately, this is a locked uh, option, although we can see what are the prerequisites for this. And, well, again, this is uh, one of the options that use one of these curiosities, where I call them intangible goods. And uh, we can tell our story our crew here a bit of recent news if we have some to calm them down and to remove some terror in the event that we do have some but unfortunately in our event we do not so we will proceed forwards and currently it looks like yeah the terror of the Z is less here mostly due to of course the light coming from the lighthouse so um, let's just check oh, how well our process, our progress goes, and it looks like there's some stuff to the north of us. So we will go into that area and really just see uh, what is there. And again, that is a, I'd say, a big portion of the game is to just find those things here and there to really to just uh, see what's uh, around the corner, really. Now, um, oddly enough, I mean. I've explored this northern portion of the map already in a test run on the game and yeah unfortunately there are a lot of these bats and they do seem to swarm us so we'll have to fight through these guys quite a few times but luckily we can just destroy them and farm them for some supplies which are also fairly expensive mind you so it's not exactly a bad thing here. 
and that should just finish them off easily and afterwards of course we can continue forwards and there we go perfect oh actually they survived that one um, one of the big portions of the combat is that you can queue up the actions here if you'd like, but of course that carries the risk of uh, doing something like that where you don't anticipate uh, you either needing more mo moves or some prerequisite was uh, cancelled out, and with that said, you'll waste a few seconds there. And, ooh, it looks like we found a, yeah, we found uh, another settlement area. So this will actually also be an area that we can dock with. And in the meantime, as you can see in the bottom portion of the of the, uh, the hut here, there's a little log, and we've been accumulating quite a lot of various different fragments, and of course building up our experience points meter here, enough to unlock a secret, which is a, another one of these uh, curiosities. So, uh, like those stories and like those bits of recent news, these secrets can be used in the traditional level up sense, in which we can um, say if we if we find one of these uh, other crewmen, actually we can do that with the uh, the the, sh the cook for our ship as well. We can go to these people, we can speak to them, and we can spend our secrets to improve our uh, particular stats ratings. But uh, we can also use them as again as these intangible tangible goods where we could sell them and really just um, do things with them uh, here and there. So currently inside the game, and this is speculation, but you can you can discover a ton of these named locations and they will of course give you a ton of these fragments, so a ton of exploration points or experience points, but unfortunately um, currently they're not too accessible apart from there. Here is a port that is effectively another settlement, and this is one of the places that we can visit, so I think we'll check out this area and um, afterwards we'll head back to New London and we'll just see uh, what uh, new developments happen over there. Right, so we'll go off of that note, and yeah, unfortunately, like, there are quite a lot of these fights sometimes in places that you don't necessarily want them to be. I think we'll use uh, another elimination here. And then we'll finally fire off a volley, and that should be then these bats here. There we go. Nonetheless, I mean, this combat system, I'd, I'd say that it's its a small annoyance, but nonetheless it is an annoyance when enemies do, of course, over, or, or either not necessarily overwhelm you, but they do move faster than your ship here. Right, so we can dock up with this area, and we can, of course, explore the wonderful settlement here and learn a little bit about it. And, yeah, I mean, the recur uh, a recurring theme inside the game is, again, this idea of just intrigue and curiosities here and there. So, it uh, looks like we found some some area titled the, uh, the Tomb Colonies here. So let's see what this area is about. On the deck, we can hear the sound of a thousand bandaged uh, dead as they shuffle and cough, and it's something like the most, uh, like the world's most restless concert audience, or the most uh, plague-ridden cathedral, evidently. And we can expect explore the settlement of uh vendor 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 blight big not really sure how to how to say that but yeah we can explore it and it looks like there are a few things here that are lost and uh that is actually rather unfortunate so yeah we can explore the settlement let's see uh what we can find here really we found a regular fellow evidently and it looks like we have let's see we have, yeah, just some guy that we can take on our crew, and this might, uh, hmm, let's see. Yeah, that'll, that'll add one crewman to us, or alternatively, we can say that uh, we don't want him. And alternatively, it looks like this is actually related to I, I, what I would imagine to be either a curiosity or a quest titled A New Face Is here so this is not relevant that we have it so i think we'll just take this guy and see what happens evidently it looks like yeah this was uh, oh 
Yeah, so this is apparently a random event. It has started a chain of events, and again, I mean exploration and stories here. So we gained one crew, we gained one veils, so that uh, might be a hint for something there. It looks like he taught us a few navigational tricks, and it looks like there will be further effects from this decision. Uh, so that'll throw us back on the main screen here of the settlement. We, again, I mean, a lot of the things inside the game take place inside this uh, journal book of sorts. We can gather some gossip, so I think we'll do this. And we will gain the curiosity that is a port report. And this is one of the uh, things like the intangible tales of terror or secrets where we can sail. Or alternatively, I, I want to say we can use those for another purpose, but I'm not particularly sure just yet. Right, some main forts from there. We can, of course, visit the shops here as well. Uh, we could buy some trade goods and sell them here, namely these casks of mushroom wine and these foxfire candles. I didn't bother buying any when we were back in port. And, um, we, yeah, again, we can sell some of the, say, uh, not necessarily tangible goods like recent news, um, things like visit visions of the surface. So in the event that we get, uh, you know, escape the, rather get out of the subterranean sea here with things like that or even even alternatively we can just buy some fuel and supplies and if you remember back in fallen call fallen london there were a few of those tomb colonists who were uh wanting a transport to this area so that is also one of the quests that we can do inside the game there uh, anyhow, I think we've uh, checked out a fair portion of the game there. We've uh, evidently journeyed right along the coast here, right around Fallen London, and we've, uh, well, discovered a few things, some fairly intriguing and interesting curiosities here and there to check out. And, well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the game so far, and if you have, of course, be sure to like and subscribe, as that will help me out quite a bit, and of course it'll help you guys keeping uh, to keep track of future videos speaking of future videos we will uh, i think take a bit of a break right here so i'll see you guys uh, next time when we play some more of this